Hey guys, Neo Messe. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Arsenal transfer for Xavier Michi from Arsenal to Hamburg, as well as some updated developments in regards to Kieran Tierney. Stay tuned to my thoughts and my views, and if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and share this video. And let's go. So it was reported earlier on today that Xavier Michi has officially left Arsenal Football Club and will be going to Bundesliga Durside uh, Hamburg FC. Um, it said that he's going to be leaving Arsenal for a fee around £2.25 million. Pounds. And obviously we all know Xavier Michi is, you know, been touted as a very talented midfield player for Arsenal Football Club but unfortunately just due to unfortunate circumstances injuries and to be honest him showing a bit of a bad attitude in my opinion um, in regards to him getting first team opportunities and you know what to be fair to him, maybe it's also a bit of mismanagement by the previous regime i.e. Arsene Wenger by not giving this guy um, a chance when he was maybe let's say a couple of years ago when he, he could have had an opportunity to have a chance for Arsenal. Now we have a young player leaving Arsenal uh, and go, again going to Germany. I mean, this is again another another one of Arsenal's young talented players leaving Arsenal to go to another team. Now it's a bit different in that he is going to a Bundesliga two sides where, you know, and Hamburg will probably get promoted uh, back into Bundesliga one. Um, division but it's one of them where we would have liked to see Xavier Amici get a chance but to be really fair the writing was on the wall for Xavier Amici now at the end of last season in the Europa League final we all know what the score was we got absolutely slaughtered by Chelsea now the reports came out that he had big gripes with Unai Emery and the, the staff that he should have been in the team that he should have been on the bench at the very least and he wasn't even on the bench and to be honest i don't know why he wasn't on the bench to be honest there weren't that many young players that were on the bench to begin with for me i, I felt that um bakayo saka who had given us a lot more over the course of the season when he was given his chance probably should have had a place more so than xavier michi but that wasn't the case but Xavier Michi used that time to then complain and then couldn't believe why he was in the squad and from then on but if the rumors are true said that um, he'd had enough with Arsenal and he, he wanted to leave and it was one of those situations where it was like if that's actually true chances are mate you're, you're not going to make it out of the Arsenal and that's where it seems what it's uh, turned out to be for Xavier Michi. Fast forward a couple of months down the line Gabriel Martinelli comes into play around the same age. Again, being seen as a very talented winger in Brazil. Could You could honestly say he's around the same level as Xavier Michi. And for me personally, I do believe that both are around the same level. And I think that Gabriel Martinelli was really Xavier Michi's replacement. Um, I think that Martinelli is not going to be in the first team uh, this upcoming season. I think he will maybe get chances in the Europa League, depending on, on injuries. But I think he's going to get at least one year within the academy. And I think that goes the same thing with Xavier Amici. I, I think we would have had him there within the academy set up, still getting maybe a few kind of Europa League run-ins. But Martinelli is his replacement and the writings were on the wall for Xavier Amici um, in that. So it's sad to see a young English player leave the Premier League or leave a Premier League club um, and not being able to get a real, a real kind of chance within the first team. But it's understandable. It's football. Um, he's, he's a talented player. So we all know that he's going to do well going over there in the Bundesliga. I hope he improved his attitude because I think it was probably his comments towards Unai Emery at the end of last season which probably shot him in the foot if he was genuinely looking for a chance within the Arsenal first team. So it's one of them where I'm not surprised but I will say one thing. I hope that he does develop to be a top player and um, I hope to see him real soon. And finally, and this is the last kind of tidbit news for the day, um, Kieran Tierney. Um, it's been said that Arsenal are still interested in Tini and that 
a deal is very close to being done. Uh, it said that um, right now they have sorted out all the particulars and now Arsenal are ready to put that into a formalized offer for Kieran Tini and said that this one is a lot closer to what was previously touted when Arsenal offered the 25 mil um, with ridiculous amount of add-ons. I think it was like seven or eight million of add-ons. That's not what Celtic want. So an improved offer is about to be very, very close for for that. And um, looks like we're very close to getting Tini over the line. What does this mean for the likes of Monreal and the likes of Kalazanac? I think that they will still have chances for Arsenal. Monreal has one year left on his contract. Tini could play at centre back as well as obviously left back, left slash left wing back. So there's going to be many opportunities there for him. So with Koscielny, that miserable excuse for a captain, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for our, our three now left backs. So I'm really looking to see where this goes and should be kind of done over the next few days if journalists that I've been keeping track of are correct with their kind of uh, statements. But guys, leave your comments below on what you think in regards to Xavier Michi leaving Arsenal and the Kieran Tierney deal uh, getting done. Would love to kind of get a discussion going about it. Do you think this is going to happen? Do you think we're going to be at signing number five? And I mean that, especially after Nicolas Pepe, which is so close, so close, so close. So guys, leave your comments below and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, my God.